broadcast on behalf of the Tory party. <laughs> the Times have offered a prize for the most boringly stole story of the year. The three finalists were David Kossoff, Valentine Dial, and Charlie Atter. The first prize is a weekend in Neesden, <laughs> with a free banjo lesson by Bert Whedon. <laughs> the second prize is the Clifton Suspension Bridge, or a piece of knotted Protestant string. I told you to stay in the car. <laughs> and the third prize is a conducted tour of Harry Seacombe's body <laughs> with an inside leg measurement pullout in full colour. <laughs> and now the winner, Valentine Dial, Mr. Boring Story of 1970. Take it away, Val. Drowning. Yes! Oh, my goodness. But don't just stand there. Do something. Right. The epilogue tonight is read by the Reverend Jones, vicar to the Metropolitan Police. <laughs> Evening, all. <laughs> and it came to pass, on the third Sunday after Pentecost, at the junction of the <laughs> Bethlehem Ebron Road, a pedestrian was proceeding in a northerly direction, lawfully, when he was set upon by seven felons who felled him, stripped him, robbed him, and made off in a light blue Ford convertible chariot. <laughs> and lo, they disappeared like, like snow upon the desert sand. And then the crowd that passed by ignore him, saying he hath taken of strong wine and is drunk and disorderly. <laughs> and therefore they speak it not, nor dial it, Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> but then, um, then a man, later identified as a Samaritan, five foot eight, clean shaven, scar inside leg, sallow complexion, <laughs> did stop and bind up this man's wounds, saying, be of good faith and trust in the Lord Chief Justice. <laughs> Will anyone who witnessed the accident, Leesfield, Scotland Yard, Whitehall, 1212. Amen, all. <laughs> <laughs> 